So, uh, if you guys didn't know, on Twitter, uh, <clears throat> shameless plug, uh, Revenant Random, go follow now. Uh, over on Twitter, Shoddy Steve actually responded to my video, and I made a video about that. Where I cried and it was really cringy and everything, and I want to kind and I kind of want to delete it. Not, not kind of. I really want to delete it, but it got it did really well, so I'm keeping it up. I don't know. I might private it later. You know, when I go into high school, I might just get the shit kicked out of me or like bullied or some shit. So I'm gonna take that shit down. I don't know. Why I'm saying shit so much, but I'm not getting monetized. I'm not getting yeah. I'm not getting monetized, so I'm just shit, shit, shit. So anyway. Um, <clears throat> on to the actual video. We have all had to deal with an annoying kid in school, right? That's not even a, that, that, that's a given. You have, you have dealt with an annoying kid in school before. And let me tell you, it's not fun. And if you haven't, I know you're lying. So anyway, there was some kid in my school, but for privacy reasons, I'm not going to say his actual name. He was, let's just say... Uh, enemies always start out as friends. L let's just say that. So anyway, uh, I met this kid in my cybersecurity class because you know he was in my cybersecurity class uh, back when I was in seventh grade, and that was last year. Uh, cause I'm in eighth grade now. Yeah, I'm still a little pussy bitch. Call me, call me whatever. Oh, you're a little kid or whatever. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm in eighth grade now. But back in seventh grade, I met this kid. And I'm not going to say his name like I said before, but he was pretty awesome, you know. We got along really well, and even at the lunch table, he actually shared food with us. And this is where the problems started to arise. Now, you might call me a little girl for this, but this kid was an asshole, alright? He started out as a friend, but he just became an asshole. I don't know why, I don't know how to explain it to you, he just became an asshole. So, everyone would look up to him, you're like, bro, can you, can you hand me some gummy worms or some ramen or something like that? And he's like, hell yeah, man, I'll hook you up. And, you know, he put he uses his fork and he puts some ramen in it or, 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 like, gives him, like, a snack or whatever. So this kid, like, for, for no cost at all, for no cost, this kid would just give out food. So everyone loved him. And then, I don't know why, like, at one point, he started, like, hating, he, like, hated the point, he, like, he gave out so much food to, the, he, make, he gave out so much food to the point where he just got annoyed at people when they asked. So everyone, you know, every single day, uh, he had something, and you'd usually offer, so we're like, hey, bro, can I, can I have a little piece of that? Like, I didn't always ask him for stuff like that, like, I was, I'm not really that person, like, I'm not the guy, I'm not the type of guy who's gonna go to you at the, at the lunch table and be like, hey, bro, can I have your entire meal? <laughs> can I have your entire meal? No, I'm not that guy, but, yeah, there were some people that acted like that, and sometimes I'd ask for a little bite or a little snack or, like, if you could cut off a sliver of something he brought to school, right? And, you know, he was cool with it, usually. But today, er, that, not today, but that day, he was kind of pissed at everyone for it. You know, we, everyone was confused. You know, he was, um, he was kind of upset at us. And we were like, bro, what the heck's happening? He's like, I'm tired of everyone mooching off of me. And we're like, well, I mean, we're, you, you're usually fine with it. I don't understand why you're upset now. And he's like, well, all you guys are so annoying. All you guys do is, like, ask for food and stuff like that. And I don't know why, but he got pretty upset at us for that. But anyway, he started selling food. He got to the point where he got so fucking miserable, he started selling food. So, yeah, he started selling food. And then what happened was... Uh, everyone was like, uh, no, I don't really have, like, I'm not really gonna pay money for a little buyer, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, there were some kids that, uh, their parents just don't give a fuck about them, so they just let them do whatever, whatever. So, he, they, his parents let him sell food, which is really fucking weird, I don't know why. But, anyway, he started selling food, and some kids brought money, some kids didn't. I wasn't one of those kids that brought money, I was just like, fuck it, I'll bring my own shit to school, you know? But, yeah, so he started selling money, and then he got pixie sticks, and what he did with these pixie sticks was sell them for an outrageous fucking price. He would sell these pixie sticks for, like, a couple dollars. You can go to the goddamn gas station and get pixie sticks for, like, a quarter. 
And if it's one of those big ones, and if it's one of those big ones, it's usually like a dollar or two. You know, like two fifty. But this kid, he was selling like two big pixie sticks for like four or five bucks. So, you know, everyone was kind of like, oh, this, this, this kind of sus. This, this kind of sketch. This kind of sketch. But anyway, what he did was, um, he sold the food, right? And a lot of people were, uh, a lot, a lot of people were getting, were buying it, right? Like, you know, br bring money to school. And he was at the point where he was making, like, a hundred bucks. Like, he, I'm pretty sure he made somewhere around a hundred, two hundred bucks from this shit. And to be honest, he's smart. He is smart as a bitch. He, he is smart as fuck for doing this. But some, some kid ended up snitching and then, you know, the school cop got on his ass and stuff like that. And, you know, everyone was looking at the lunch table and, you know, a couple teachers got on his ass about it and they told him to stop. So he couldn't anymore. And then, uh, yeah. So anyway, back to the cybersecurity class. So in my cybersecurity class, which is always after lunch, the next period after lunch, it was sixth period and math was my seventh period, which in that he was also in that class. So uh in that cybersecurity class we sat fairly next to each other like fairly close to each other yeah we sat fairly close to each other so you know he was still kind of pissed at me and uh he was just pissed at everyone right and he was also especially upset uh, at that so also something else we kind of like poked fun at him for we uh, uh, also we did not bully him don't bully people that's really fucked up but, uh, we didn't bully him, we just, like, we just, like, we just made a joke, we just made a joke, so, yeah, we made this joke, and he's a big fan of golf, and we showed him a clip from EDP445, Eat That Pussy 445, where he was saying, golf is the most boring sport in the world, so that means if golf and fishing is a sport, then jacking off should be a sport, and if you guys have not seen that video, uh, I'll most likely put it in the description, because it's funny as hell, you should definitely go watch it, but anyway... Yeah, we showed him that clip, and he was like, fuck you, dude. And he, like, ended up, like, punching me in the gun. And I was like, well, okay. I mean, I can, I can kind of understand why he's pissed off, but, I mean, he didn't really need to flip out like that. So, anyway, after that, he started kind of fucking hating me. And then, this is the this is the final straw. This is something that annoyed me and my friends the most. He got a copy of Papers, Please on a goddamn, on a goddamn thumbstick drive or whatever. And he was selling it for five bucks. And we were like, okay, so you got caught selling a goddamn, you know, whole pixie stick and food black market, right? And now you're resorting to selling video games at school. You realize people pay a lot of money for things when they're shopping online. You could have just sold it on eBay or something. But then again, Papers, Please is not that expensive. Just buy it with your own, just, just buy it. Not, yeah, just buy it from Steam. Don't buy it from a kid in a seventh grade class. You know what I'm saying? But the the kids, I don't I don't know how he's doing now. Like to be honest, I don't even know where the fuck he is. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. But yeah, he also um one thing he also did was after we kind of made jokes about the papers please situation, uh he started getting really fucking pissed at us, and I kind of see why because the jokes dragged on for a little too much. And then, yeah, so that's kind of what happened, and I don't know if he's still pissed off at me because I haven't seen him in a long time, because after all, during spring break, uh, or like, before spring break, like the week before spring break, we were still kind of like on edge and everything like that. So after spring break, you know, they were like, it's, 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 it's they were like, oh, spring break's extended for like a week or two, you know, because there's a virus going around, and then, oh shit! School's canceled for the whole year. We're all fucking going crazy. No, I, I was fucking laying down in bed, literally watching a Destiny 2 video. And then I saw that shit. And I was going fucking wild. I was going fucking crazy. I, I FaceTimed most of my friends saying that we didn't have to go to school for the rest of the year. So we we're like, woo! Summer! And then we realized we can't fucking go anywhere because there's a virus going around. So that was kind of lame. But, uh... Anyway, uh, that's kind of all I have to say. If you did like this video, I, I don't know, uh, hit the like button or whatever, whatever those low gangsters are saying these days. And uh, I'm, I'm talking like I'm, I'm, like I'm some kind of fucking boomer or like old person right now. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button and uh, I guess subscribe. Also, go follow and subscribe to Shoddy Steve because he's awesome. And 
Shoddy Steve, I love you. And uh, I need to get this video to 10 minutes because YouTube, the YouTube algorithm doesn't really recommend videos that are under 10 minutes. So here's some shitty memes. <laughs> Man, I'm dead. People be like, Dragon Ball Z be like, hey, Bitch, I'm back on my coma. Hey, okay, I got the. <laughs> He falling down the street. This nigga begins it. That's why your mama did. Post traumatic. Bounce and roll. Play at it. Fast. Turn up for 12 for the What kind of fucking McDonald's has on the Niggas be like, white people be like, goldfish be like, Dragon Ball Z be like, blackfish be like, bitches be like, black people be like, drop the drugs, it's okay, nigga, I got that. <laughs> <laughs>